is going on gamers, Avatrex here and today we are going to be reviewing the legendary pet Little Havoc. Now I have been heavily medicated, let's just say that, throughout the day just because I am super sick. So again like yesterday if I sound a little bit off it's because of that. But let's go, let's go ahead and go into this review. Little Havoc, one of the two legendary pets that are in the game for the moment. Now I say for the moment because uh, more than likely we do have more pets coming in the future. We do know of two at the very least that are in the game but aren't uh, necessarily released. All the information is out but they're not actually out yet. Um, the only thing though is that they are what's considered common pets just like these. So more legendary pets, I wouldn't put it past IGG to have more added in the future. But Little Havoc, um, his skill is Devil's Fire. And essentially, the easiest way to describe this pet is like literally like having a mini Maltanica. His name is Little Havoc, but it's pretty much like Little Maltanica. So let's go ahead and read the description. Now mine, mine is at level 2. But uh, at level 8, I'll go ahead and put the graphic here on the right hand side that way you can see all the information for each level of the Devil's Fire. But at the maximum level, he has a 60% chance to deal 550% pet attack damage and that's actually quite big because this pet is the pet that has the highest uh, pet attack by far especially at the highest level so his damage is actually going to become uh, quite significant at the higher levels. So it deals 550% pet attack damage to a nearby enemy hero with the lowest HP when its hero attacks and that's the most important thing there. Unlike the previous pets, this one is when the hero it is on is attacking. It doesn't have to take any damage or anything like that. So more than likely the, the hero that you want to put this on is usually like a ranged hero that would keep its distance from the battle and survive the longest. That way he can keep the debuffs going. Like a Harpy Queen for instance, that would be a great, uh, you know, a great hero to have on him or a Multanica or any sort of hero that will stay in the back uh, and just keep attacking from a distance. Now you can also put it on a tanky hero but it wouldn't benefit as much um, than you know the other pets like Mini Angie etc. Um, now here's the kicker on this pet. It also reduces targets attack and attack speed by 65% for 3 seconds with only a cooldown of 3.8 seconds. So basically he will be able to keep something debuff for pretty much 90% of the time. Now keep that in mind and we're gonna go ahead here and take a look at uh, Multanica and we'll see the difference here. If I can find them, there we go. So Multanica, the fiery breath, um, it deals the attack but really the debuff is where it matters the attack, attack speed, and movement speed is reduced by 90% for 6 seconds with a cooldown of 6 seconds, so pretty much no cooldown. So the only difference between a 10 of 10 Multanica and a, a, a pet skill of Devil's Fire of at 8 is that instead of 90% it'll be 65% and it'll be for 3 seconds instead of 6. But keep this in mind, Multanica does affect everything in front of, of him while the pet is only going to pick one target. Now the only difference is if, if you're thinking about like an arch demon, like a, like a demon in here be monsters etc. That's where the pet will really shine when you're just going up against one central enemy not waves. Whereas Multanica will always be a better choice, but if you don't have a Multanica, Little Havoc is going to be a great addition to your team just because it is going to be such a significant debuff that you're going to be adding to your team. Um, now Little Havoc is pretty straightforward, really what you want to do is you want to use Little Havoc in pretty much every game mode. Um, in, in every game mode you'll have up to about 6 heroes that you can use and Little Havoc will always be in the top 6 pets that you can use. So just keep that in mind, there's probably other pets that you want to use for different game modes but when it comes to Mini Angie and Little Havoc, that's, that's one of the two pets that you always want to have no matter the game mode just because they bring so much into every single game mode. Whereas like for instance, um, Doom Balloon 
it's only for building so if, if it's like lost battlefield it's completely useless but this pet he's just useful in every single situation so let's go ahead and jump into some gameplay and show you some different things that this hero or this pet I should say can do now let's go ahead and get started with Hebe Monsters AB and the Exploding Druid the one that's infamous for destroying all of your walls whenever it's not kept in check now take a look at this with no debuff and it's right before the Multanica debuff, he absolutely destroys that wall, just goes boom. Now in this instance, even though there's a little, uh, a little delay in the animation, once Little Havoc is, uh, is targeted on the Druid right there, he blows up and look at the wall damage. It only takes roughly about 70% of the HP of the walls instead of completely destroying it. That shows you the debuff is really, really powerful. And this is going to show you here exactly what it looks like when he procs. So here he goes. He is going to just whack him with a fireball right there. And you don't see any sort of after effect of who it's affecting, like a fire, like a Multanica. But once he whacks you with it, you're, you're going to be debuffed. Now take a look at this Dread, the Dread Drake battle. Once he smacks that Dread Drake with that fireball right about now. Watch. Boom. There. Now once that hits, he is going to be debuffed for quite a while. He's barely going to do any damage. And this, my little Havoc here was only a skill level 1. So just imagine a skill level 8. You can even see the Dread Drake swinging slower. Um, just because of this skill. Look at that. Absolutely locking him down. Now on this one, this one is very interesting because I'm going up against the Ghulam. And my my Beast Tamer is going to take a lot of damage just because of the, the Ghulam's proc. But I have Revive 3 on him. And without the debuff and the attack debuff throughout the whole fight of my Little Havoc. I wouldn't be able to live through this fight. So right here, my beast tamer goes down, comes back up, and it's only living for just a little bit. And it was just that little debuff throughout the whole fight that allowed me to live um, through the whole thing. Now, with that being said, I feel like this pet is actually a pretty straightforward pet. It doesn't really take much to understand exactly what he does because we've already had something like this before and that's in the form of Multanica. Multanica is really straightforward. It is something that is not going to do a lot of damage but the debuff throughout a fight, especially if it's a fight like a demon, like you know, here be monsters, like the, the demons in, in Lost Realm. Lost Battlefield, those debuffs would go a long way. I mean, think about it. When a Cenoboom procs like a really strong Cenoboom in Lost Battlefield, you're in trouble. But if Little Havoc can get a hold of that Cenoboom before he procs, there, that Cenoboom is not going to do as much damage and is also going to feed you a ton of energy so your heroes can actually counterattack. So Little Havoc is kind of just like having a mini Multanica. That's the best way to describe him. And it's a little, it's, it's fitting because Multanica is all fire and Little Havoc is pretty much, <laughs> I mean, he's the pet skill is Devil's Fire and he's Little Havoc. But really, I call him Little Multanica. Um, but I would like to know where you guys find him the most useful. For me, um, I find him the most useful in um, Here Be Monsters, any sort of demon, um, like Archdemon, Lost Battlefield, etc. And um, Lost Realm, those the demons there. Um, just because it can be really, really uh, a struggle sometimes if you don't have really powerful heroes to get those bosses down. Another side note is, is that this little Havoc at their lower levels, let's say like a newer account, since I have a free to play account that I'm playing now, these pets are really making a huge difference for when I first played and started the game. They really make a huge difference. This little Havoc right here at the lower levels, even at a low level himself, does quite a bit of damage, sometimes does more damage than a regular hero, like a level 60 legendary hero, Little Havoc is sometimes even doing more damage than that. So just keep that in mind. Imagine when the people start getting Little Havocs to the higher levels, the level 20s, level 30s. That's when they are really going to play a role. At the higher levels right now, pets aren't making a huge difference, although they are starting to. But playing a free-to-play account and seeing these pets in action, even at the lower levels, 
I can see the huge impact that they're going to have in the game going forward. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this pet. Like I said, I was kind of sick th throughout the whole day, so I had to cut this one a little short. But I'm taking a look at your feedback and see what you think about these pet reviews. And always, Rotism with the thumbnails, shout out to him. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and until later, bye.